Lamar Jackson went out against the Denver Broncos. Um, there was a lot of speculation that began. Um, some people were like, all right, he'll probably be out a couple of weeks. Some people thought, okay, well, maybe he might be out for the rest of the regular season, but then return for the playoffs. Uh, some people thought that his season uh, was over, and some people thought that his career with the Baltimore Ravens is over. Um, and we'll see if that ends up being the case because that's something that we just won't know till we know. Uh, so there will continue to be speculation about that going into the offseason. And the speculation on that, it will not stop uh, until there's a resolution. And the only way there can be a resolution is if Lamar signs a long-term contract with the Baltimore Ravens or he is traded to another team. Those are the only two things that can stop all the talk about whether he is the Ravens franchise quarterback or he'll be somebody else's. But... Um, we'll cross that road when we get there. This, this offseason is going to be really crazy. Um, but as far as his injury, uh, we had heard a lot of rumors from different reporters about Lamar Jackson's injury. First, we heard it was a one to three week injury. That was the recovery. Um, we heard that it was week to week. Then we heard good stuff. Then we heard bad stuff. Then we heard more good stuff. Then we heard more bad stuff. Then we heard more bad stuff. And we heard even more bad stuff. And we were like, oh, boy, it's not looking good. Um, so now to hear directly from the quarterback who all this buzz has been about is a gift and a curse all at the same time because it's nice when rumors are flying about somebody and you get to hear the rumors get cleared up by the person who they're about but at the same time uh, you hearing the truth it hurts but it just confirms what a lot of us have felt like for well really over the past couple of weeks well Lamar Jackson he tweeted um, a little while ago said, thank you, everyone, for your support and concerns regarding my injuries. I want to give you all an update as I am in the recovery process. I've suffered a PCO grade 2 sprain on the borderline of a strain 3. There is still inflammation surrounding my knee, and my knee remains unstable. I'm still in good spirits. As I continue with treatments on the road to recovery, I wish I could be out there with my guys more than anything, but I can't give a 100% of myself to my guys and fans. I'm still hopeful we still have a chance. So, basically, to sum it all up, Lamar Jackson's letting you know, hey, my season is done, and it's been done. Lamar Jackson's letting you know, hey, this injury, it was worse than what y'all were led to believe. And I, I appreciate the straightforwardness. I, I appreciate the update. I, I appreciate all of that. I just wish, I, I wish that we would have gotten that a lot sooner, but... I get the business side of things. But at the same time, I, I like honesty more than anything. I understand the business. I understand teams want to make money and whatnot. But I like I, I would have rather the honesty. Uh, the reason I say that, that I understand teams want to make money. Say, for instance, because I know there's been a lot of animosity from Ravens fans toward John Harbaugh when it's come to this whole Lamar Jackson injury update. Because Harbaugh will say one thing and say another thing and say another thing, and he'll tiptoe around stuff. He won't answer stuff. We get that. Harbaugh's been that way for a long time when it's coming to injuries, but this one was different, but it was the same, if you know what I mean. Well, I explain it too. So, the reason it was different is because, hey, this is Lamar Jackson. This is Ravens' starting quarterback, and this is not just any starting quarterback. It's Lamar. Like, this team lives, breathes through Lamar Jackson. But that's how it's different, but it's the same because if you recall, if I take you back one year, when Lamar Jackson had an ankle injury. We were led to believe that that ankle injury was week to week. We were led to believe that that ankle injury, oh, Lamar, hey, he might come back. I remember specifically, and we talked about this in videos this year too, um, during this whole injury situation. I remember last year where John Harbaugh, when we were playing the Packers and we were playing the Rams, and it might have been some other games during that stretch where Lamar was out too, but John Harbaugh talked about, hey, well, hey uh, Lamar, he has a chance to play this week. We haven't ruled him out this week. He may play this week. We'll just see how it goes. And it was like, oh, well, when we look back at it, like, no, he, he never had a chance of playing any of those games because his injury was a lot worse than what we were led to believe. And now, fast forward a year later, it's the same thing. Um, and the reason I say that I understand the business side, because say, for instance, I would have appreciated this, but I know business is business. You still want to make as much money as you possibly can. If John Harbaugh from jump, when they, because again, when Harbaugh said that he didn't know about Lamar's injury, he didn't know the status of him, well, you're the head coach. You know about every single player's injury. You have to be updated with that information. You have to be. 
That's what your team doctors are for. That's what the medical staff is for. You have to be updated on all of that stuff. But anyway, when if we if when the injury first occurred, and J John Harbaugh would have been like, Lamar is done for the year. His season is over. So many Ravens fans would have checked out. So many of them would have checked out. Um, but not as many of them would have been going to the games. And I mean, there was already a lot of that stopped going to the games, but so many of them would have stopped going to the games. A lot of them would not have watched as, as much. Most would have watched, but a lot would be like, oh, you know what, Lamar not playing. Oh, we got a repeat of last year. So many fans would have just, they would have been checked out. And as far as the players, I can't say. I can't say because I feel like the players, like, they would know that Lamar is done for the year because they're there. They're in the facility. They see Lamar getting the rehab and stuff. They could see him walking. Sure, they talk to him about updates and stuff. They talk to the medical staff and whatnot. They teammates. They brothers. So they talk. They communicate. So I'm sure plenty of them know or and plenty of them knew already, but they still out there fighting, which I respect. But as far as from the business side, if you would have told your customers, the fans, hey, Lamar is done for the year. So many of them would have been, they, they might have been done for the year too. But I, I still, for me personally, I wouldn't have been checked out. Well, no, nah, I wouldn't have been checked out. I've still been hoping for Ravens to do well, as we still are hoping for Ravens to do well, obviously. Um, but it, things would have just been different. They would have been a lot different for a lot of people um, if we knew, like, oh, Lamar's officially done. But it is what it is, right? And we're here now. So it's officially um, the Tyler Huntley. I mean, he was throwing in practice today or the Anthony Brown show uh, for the remainder of the year. You know what's funny? We talked about it uh, in a video um, a while before Anthony Brown got signed to the active roster. And I said that if Anthony Brown gets signed to the act, because th they had cleared a roster spot. They only had 52 men on the roster. And we were all wondering, like, man, who's it going to be? Is it going to be the, uh, the linebacker, Josh Ross? Uh, was it going to be, like, Tylen Wallace coming back from injury reserve? What, who, who was it, it going to be? We were all wondering and speculating and wondering, like, who could fill that last spot? And I was thinking, like, man, if it's Anthony Brown, I'll be a little scared. Because that would make me worried about the status of Lamar Jackson. Now, at the same time, it was tricky because Anthony Brown had used his uh, two or three uh, call-ups. Because when you're on a practice squad, you can get called up to the active roster three times, I believe. After that third call-up, then they have to either sign you to the, the active roster or they have to release you from the practice squad. And you have to clear waivers and then you could get signed back to the practice squad again. But I, I, w I was just a little worried if, they, if, if Anthony Brown was the guy that they signed that that would kind of let us know about Lamar Jackson. And it did. It did. Um, so, yeah, that's his season uh, with the Baltimore Ravens. And his last touchdown pass, possibly. We'll see. This, again, this offseason is going to be very – it's going to be very emotional. It's going to be a very emotional offseason this year. Just preparing y'all now. I mean, I can't even prepare y'all for how emotional it's going to be because it's going to be crazy. It's going to be a lot of conversations. It's going to be a lot of discourse and back and forth and this and that and conversation and speculation and all of that stuff this offseason. And stuff could go great. Stuff could go not so great. And, and depend, depend on how you feel about the whole Lamar Jackson situation. Um, but it could be emotional in a good way. Uh, for a lot of people who want Lamar Jackson to stay, because the Ravens could be like, all right, we signed him to a long-term deal. Boom. Oh, we keeping Lamar Jackson. Let's get it, baby. So we'll be happy. Very happy. There'll be some people that'll be upset. Oh, I don't want Lamar. We should have traded him, buddy. But then on the other hand, if Ravens trade Lamar Jackson, then it'll be very emotional for a lot of us. A whole lot of us. So we'll see how it goes. But then on the flip side, there will be some people that'll be jumping for joy. Oh, Lamar Jackson's out of here, buddy. Give me them draft picks, buddy. So, like I said, it all depends on exactly how you feel. Um, but, yeah, that's that update straight from the source. So, shout out to Lamar Jackson. Um, thank you for, if this is it, thanks for everything. 
And hopefully like you won't be But Kind of got a bad feeling about how this is gonna go Uh We out